Okay, welcome back. This is part five of my complete file upload site uh, series. And uh, in the last video, we created our CSS uh, navigation links. We styled them, made them look a lot nicer. And uh, what I did in my downtime uh, of the filming of the last video is I created just a simple text logo. You can see it right here. It just says basic Nick. That's, that's it. Um, and I'm going to show you how to create a logo and how do you insert this logo. So inside of our header that we created at the very end of uh, the last video, uh, you want to put in a link and you simply want to put a period. Now, the reason we're putting a period is because this means it's going to take us to the root of this directory. So it's going to take us to our index page. So that's what we want. So now we want to just end the link. And inside of it, instead of putting text, we're going to put an image. Uh, so, img src, which is for stands for source, equals, and then colon. Sorry about that. Got a phone call. Um, so we have image uh, source, and our source is images forward slash logo dot png, because that is the name of my image image logo dot png. So if we save and we refresh the page you see we have our logo and this is a simple text logo I just threw some bevel and emboss uh, a, a one pixel white stroke and a uh, one pixel inner glow or outer glow one of the two I don't remember um, so yeah but the thing is it kinda seems like it sits right on top of our navigation which I don't really want so uh, I'm going to show you um, that how to fix that in a little second. Um, so I'm gonna give this a title, and the title is essentially if you hover over something, like if I hover over this Google link, it says Google. So if you hover over a link, that's what's gonna show up. See, it shows it right here. So the title is just gonna be um, upload site home. So if we save and refresh, you see we have a title, Upload Site Home, and that's where we are right now. Yay! So that just adds in a nice little title. Now, I'm also going to add in an alt text. Um, here, wait, that's not it. What is it? It's in here somewhere. See, it is alt text. Now, an alt text is essentially just the text that will show up if um, the image doesn't appear for some reason. So, I'm just going to put basic, or not basic upload. Um, what is it? Upload site. I'll just put basic nick up, or base, upload site home. Here we refresh. It doesn't really show anything. But if this image for some reason doesn't show up, like we have the wrong image name, so I'll just change the image name. And if that doesn't show up, okay, that's not working for some reason. Okay, well, anyway, yeah. Um, whatever, that's not really necessary. Um, so it's not working anyway. So we have our image. Now, it seems to be touching this completely, um, which I don't really want. So I'm going to style the image. So, style equals, and then we're going to say um, margin dash bottom colon right here, colon, and I'm going to say three pixels and semicolon. So, we refresh, you see it kicks it down a little bit. So, that just adds in a quick little bit of margin. Oops. A quick little bit of margin to the bottom of this image um, so it looks a little bit nicer now eventually when we get to it uh, we're gonna have probably our login area right here so yeah um, we'll go ahead and create that right now so inside of our header here I'm gonna go a line down and uh, I'm gonna create a new div so div ID equals and I'm just going to call it logo. And I'm going to come to the end of the image. 
and I'm going to end the div. Now, after that, I'm going to create another div, so div id equals um, uh, call it status. Uh, now this is what we're going to use to display our login form and everything. Now, because we're going to float this to the right, we need to put it above our logo. Uh, now the reason being is because if you float it after our logo, if we float it after our logo, it'll be uh, down here somewhere. Uh, we want to float above the logo, so it'll be over here. <coughs> so now I'm going to go to the layout page and inside of our wrapper, we're gonna or our header, we're gonna create another one. Header pound logo. Now we're not really gonna have uh, anything in here, which actually what we'll do is we'll get rid of the style right here. We'll get rid of that and we will add it to our logo area right here. So if we save and refresh it looks exactly the same as we took the uh, the style, the margin off of the image, and we put it on the logo area. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create one for our status. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to float it. Oh, and we're going to float it to the right. So there's nothing inside of it at the moment, which actually. Uh, we'll just go ahead and throw our login form in. Just something simple. Because after this video, we will get started on our login. So action equals login.php. And it might help if I put that there. And just end the form. Just something simple. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to create the form uh, and I'll be back momentarily okay so I'm back here um, and here's our simple form simple login form right here here's the code for it um, now this will be included in the source code for the first couple of videos and really every video now um, so you can see right here um, it automatically includes it so we have our username box password box uh, and register link and a login button. Now, the thing is, how I'm going to set this up, I don't want it to say username and password right here because I just I don't really like using that too much. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use JavaScript, and our JavaScript is going to uh, make it so when it'll automatically say username here and password here, um, and when you click on it, it'll get rid of the, pa the username value and it'll let you type your own but if you click out without typing anything in it'll automatically go back to username so it's a very nice feature uh, a lot of high-end websites do use it and it's it's something kinda handy to know um, and also what we're gonna do is we're gonna style these our boxes text boxes and our login button um, so yeah um, and what I forgot to add is I'm going to give each of these a tab index. Now, a tab index is um, when you push tab on your keyboard, it'll go to these. Uh, so the tab index for it's going to be username is going to be zero. Our password is going to be one. Our login button is going to be two. And our register is, we're just not going to give that one because that's a link. So if we push tab, you can see it automatically goes to password that's because I set that as one nut okay so two three because different programs like Visual Basic uses zero as the first one okay so if I simply push tab you see we're automatically in this box push tab again we're in the password box push tab again we're on our login button and then tab it will just go through the random uh, things on our website you can see it will even come down here and select these so uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to stop this video here. Uh, in the next video, we will continue on with our site design. We will style our text boxes and our login button. And, uh, and then hopefully we'll be able to get started on the JavaScript that will uh, style that, our, uh, our text 
input fields. So check out the next video.